All right, so to start today's video off, I do want to show you guys the finds of yesterday. Just because yesterday I was in such a rush that I just couldn't even show you guys. So let's jump into it. This actually sold. Shout out to uh, everyone that comment what movie this is. This was Menace to Society. Um, I thought it was Boys in the Hood, but obviously it's not. Uh, this was a 2XL. It's a primitive. I tried to look this up. Honestly, I could not find this anywhere, but it did end up selling. So shout out to the person that ended up buying that. I did pick up this vintage PMS um, t-shirt. It's a size XL, super thin. I did pick up this size, I think it's a women's small. Yeah, women's small. I do have to wash it though. It does have a little spot right here, but that's no worries because we do have to wash uh, this find also, which I guess we'll just jump into this. This was the Christian Dior uh, jacket. It does have a little markings down here, so I'm going to throw both of those in the wash. I'm pretty sure this is authentic. All the buttons do say Dior on it. Um, on the actual zipper, it does say CD. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. CD for Christian Dior. And it's like, if this was a bootleg, why would they put no branding on it? You know, you would think bootlegs would have a lot of branding on it. It wouldn't just be a subtle uh, Dior hit right uh, on the inside pocket like that, but I could be wrong. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, it is a really nice Christian Dior shirt. I also do have to wash this Gecko shirt, this Gecko Hawaii. That looks like a card. So we got that, that. Uh, we did pick up this NASCAR shirt. I thought it was originally black, but it's actually on a Navy shirt. It's this Mark Martin double-sided, well-oiled machine. It is printed on a Logo 7, so it is old school. See the Mark Martin. If it was black, I would have kept it for personal, but since it is navy, I am going to sell it. So it is on the website. Everything I'm showing you guys is for sale. Link down below, emcvlogs.com. Make sure you guys go check it out. Also, a lot of good reviews on the keychains. Guys, these are $15 plus shipping. We have white, we have yellow, and we have black. I might be releasing some new colors soon just because I have a couple sample colors that came in like red, pink, forest, green, orange. So let me know in the comments down below if I should release a couple other colorways. Now jumping back to the finds, I did pick this up for the personal, this Canon mug. Um, I actually looked it up. It's supposed to have a cover, but that's no worries. I'll just drink it as like a regular mug. Uh, maybe put my beer in it or something like that. I did grab this Grinch, Mr. Grinch t-shirt. It's about a size large. This undefeated crew neck sold literally with before I could even post it, but this did, uh, I did end up buying this. Obviously I had to go back to the thrift store. I did talk him down on pricing, so we worked it out, the person that bought it and the manager, so shout out to them. I did grab this silk, like I'm pretty sure it's like a silk, like it's super soft bomber with like the horse racing. Fits about a medium. Then in the back we have the horse racing. This Marlboro flannel, like, like I get, oh, not a flannel, Marlboro, like, thermal. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to repurpose this uh, label uh, just because the buttons are missing. There's only three buttons, and they're supposed to be, like, one, two, like, seven, and there's only three. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it as is with, like, three buttons, or I'll just repurpose that. I did grab this silk vintage shirt, just craziness. And I did end up grabbing these moto pants. I'm not exactly sure what size they are. They're kind of dope though. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the padding, try them on, and see how they fit me. Uh, as you see, the padding just should be able to slide out, and it should just be like regular pants. So I just removed the pads, and I was looking at the size or the little tags, and it actually says size 32 right there. So bam, size 32, my size, yellow colorway. Low key, I think I might keep these for personal, just because I don't know that biker style is kind of in. Yellow is my favorite color. It's unique. We'll see. Damn, these pants are so hard. I'm probably definitely going to throw these in the personal just because they're so nice. The only thing is they don't have pockets, but I'm not even stressing. These things are so fire. Right, Jack? Kind of set you guys up, see if you can see. Damn, son! Where'd you find them at? Now for today's video, I did hit up the post office. It is about nine o'clock right now. I hit up the post office about an hour ago. I am gonna hit up the thrift stores. Thrift stores open around 10 o'clock. There is a sale today, so hopefully we find some good things. Then just kind of continue my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get it, guys.
probably gonna end up copying this for the personal just because you guys know I love faded shirts I'm actually wearing a super faded one right now this is a faded Miami heat uh, probably not new age but like I said just the fading on it is really nice then we did find this old school hard rock cafe Orlando with like the little mass uh, multicolored unfortunately there's some big yellow stains on the front so we're gonna have to leave it nice little vintage Tommy jeans has a little uh, on the faded red with the embroidered Tommy jeans. There's, oh, there's a little pocket on the sleeve. I've never seen that before. It's a pretty sick shirt. I'm pretty sure that's Breitling, like the watch, but it's pretty cool, like a little navigator. Instruments for professionals. We found another one too, and it's funny because it says Jersey specially made for Breitling, so clearly it's like an authentic shirt. Got this Olympic all black on black, little USA, little USA embroidered. <laughs> Last time I left this denim jacket, but I think I am gonna pick it up just because of the pockets all throughout. Like you see it has that little front pockets. It has a little side hook on it. And even on the back it has a little hook also. So just the details on it and with the different color corduroy and then like the flannel inside, it's actually really nice. Just found this old school champion reverse weave sweatpants. Has a little C, super nice quality and then tapered at the bottom. Probably gonna end up grabbing these. Like the reverse weave is just so nice. The only thing is, is it doesn't have pockets, which I feel like is such a fail. And what's this? We have, ooh, someone dropped off all their champion stuff. We have the champion little spell out. This one has pockets, so I'll probably end up grabbing this one. We have a light blue one. What's this one? We have a navy blue one, little champion. And all tapered bottoms too. Just found this bootleg Chanel. The leather is peeling all over. Literally, it looks like a dog got attached to it. Crazy. Just found a vintage polo Ralph Lauren. I don't know if I'm gonna grab this though. I usually pass up on these, but I don't know. Today is a sale, so maybe I'll grab it. Ah, uh, I'd made a rookie move. I totally forgot my wallet here in my other backpack. Hopefully the clothes will be still at the thrift store. Let's go back to the thrift store now. All right, so somebody found my bag, but luckily they just put all of them literally right back on the rack. The Tommy jeans, both Breitling, the denim jacket. They probably put the polo bag too. I don't think I'm gonna get the polo bag this time though. Got a bootleg Harley Davidson motorcycles. Belize. Cat going out of a mailbox. And then I have like this tiger shirt. It's not double-sided though. Pretend I'm like a trash. I've never heard of that. I forgot about the champion pants too. All sitting. First sweep too. This is kind of funny. If you guys know about like the TJ Maxx and Marshalls, how I've been getting those Hudson brand and they're like really expensive. Just found them at the thrift size 30, which would be my size. And it's like a wax denim. Definitely gonna grab these. Disney crew neck. No date on it and somebody ripped the tag off. So I'm not exactly sure what year it is, but it's pretty cool. Found another one. I'm probably going to end up leaving this one though, the Eeyore, Florida. Make it a Disney day. Just found this vintage 1994 Philadelphia Eagles crew neck. See a little date right there. I don't know why people keep ripping off these tags, man. Definitely need to start checking women's section. I, I found all that at the women's section and now we just found this Warner Brothers Tweety. Oh, unfortunately, there's some stains all throughout. We're gonna leave that behind. Old school Calvin Klein jeans, little like denim shirt. Has a little embroidered right there. Might pick this up, just cause the pockets are pretty sick. The wash is nice too. Well, one thrift store down and a full cart of stuff. I'm probably gonna have to stop at my house and drop this off before we hit any other stores. So I've ruined my backpack. Had to drop these big bags. Look at how big, two big bags just from one thrift store. That never happens nowadays. Nowadays you find one, two white. And I figured while I'm here, might as well make some lunch and I'm not gonna have steak, you know? I'm actually gonna make something really easy, something cheap that you guys could easily make. It's called chips and cheese. First, you lay down the chips. I'm using Tostitos Hint of Lime. I think Hint of Lime, you know, gives it a better taste. Now for the cheese, I'm using Colby Jack. You can honestly use whatever you want. Take it and now you gotta be generous. Just Throw it all over. All over. Then you set the oven to broil, not bake, broil low. The reason why you wanna do broil is because it uses the top thing, so it melts the top versus using the bottom burner. Then you just throw it right in the middle, 
and give it about a few minutes. You gotta just check on it. Then about three minutes later, you got some nice chips and cheese. I would call this nachos, but I feel like nachos has so much other things, you know, chicken, uh, salsa, guacamole, all that. This is literally just chips and cheese. I am gonna dip it in sour cream though, but yeah, it's just chips and cheese. So I just came into a thrift store that I've been coming to it for a while. They actually remodeled it. They made this place look so nice. The first find we see pulling up, we have these Tommy trunks in the plaid colorway. They're pretty short, not gonna lie, but I think I still gotta grab them just because, you know, that vintage Tommy. Another vintage Tommy jeans, a little small uh, v-neck on the forest screen. So small. Back of the rack. Empty, empty. Got the vintage Nike, Miami Dolphins. Little crew neck. Just found this vintage uh, Pendleton virgin wool flannel in like the turquoise blue colorway. So I just ran to Goodwill. The first find we found is this Platinum FUBU size 2XL Muhammad Ali. Look at this back. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it, maybe try to sell it, but I really wanna cut out this patch and repurpose this patch. Maybe sew it onto another denim jacket that fits me. They want $10 for the jacket, but I just really want that patch, so I'm gonna grab it. I did just also find this Tommy Jeans long sleeve with the American flag going down the sides. THT, they want 10 bucks, but I don't know, I'll probably even grab this just for personal. I don't know if I'm gonna end up grabbing Muhammad Ali. I just checked eBay, they only go for 30 bucks, so it's like, maybe when I wanna repurpose, I'll just buy one on eBay. I don't think it's worth it to buy it right now. All right, I finally made it back home. Right now, it is 5.30. I have to quickly edit this video, throw it up to you guys, so you guys make sure you get it up at 8 p.m. Obviously, yesterday I did not upload. I kinda took the day off, so I wanna make sure I do get a video up to you guys by 8 p.m. But if you wanna check what I got today, make sure you guys check link down below, emcvlogs.com. That plus 100 other items for very good prices will be for sale. Every purchase does help support make these daily videos. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for 8 p.m. for another vlog. The beginning of tomorrow's vlog, I will show you every find of today. Today was honestly an amazing day, especially at that first thrift store. We found so many items. So I will see you guys then. Don't forget, guys. Let's get it.